What's going on everyone? Sunny here as you can see by my hands. Alright, today we do have this MyFex Night Crusader Batman. Really dope Batman. First you're like, but Sonny, I already have MyFex Hush Batman. Do I really need another Batman? Well, let's take a look at them side by side. As you can see here, if you stay up. And he can stand up as well. Their tape's kind of getting in the way of each other right there. There we go. All right. So, they do stand about the same height. You are going to get different expressions on the different Batmans. Of course, different colors. This is a lighter gray, darker gray, lighter blue, darker blue. I will give it to this Batman here. Uh, he is, his cape is easier to maneuver. This cape is really, really ridiculously big, and this one's not so much. It's still big, but it's still not extremely long to where you don't know what to do with it. Some of you guys know what I'm talking about out there. Am I right? Ah, oh, that's right. I'm right. Okay. All right. So a different, few other differences is I will say that I think that the Night Crusader Batman has a more quality feel to the build than this Hush Batman. Hush Batman was a great Batman. I'm not going to take anything from that Batman, but you can see there pretty much the same uh, body. His boobs look a little bit more defined than his boobs. If you can see that right there, a little bit taller as well, like I said. So do you need another Batman? Maybe. Should you get another Batman? Yes. I do like this Batman. So We'll go ahead and put this guy over here for now and take a look more at this Batman here. Obviously, he is a Moffix figure. So one thing that I hate about all Moffix figures is the wrist peg, the way it has just that little peg that comes out. No real bump to hold that hand in. Not a huge fan of that. Never have been. Uh, surprisingly... Nothing fell off of him. As I've been posing him around, nothing has fallen off of him, which is great. It's a warm welcome for a Moffex figure from me. And you get the typical articulation. You get the double jointed arm right there. You get these uh, butterfly shoulders. Also kind of like a little ball in there. It's kind of weird. I don't know. It's, it can be ugly. It can gap up like that and look real ugly. But he just pushes his arm further back in and mess with it so you get it to look better. So, that is them. Of course, he kicks back this far. His ankle, if you see that, pivots that much and that much forward. Toes curl for the toe curling action. When he's getting it on with the cat woman and she makes his toes curl. That's the Batman figure itself. Let's take a look at some of the accessories. So he does have two capes. He comes with this cape here, which is my preferred one. And then he has this pointy cape like this. Looks like if Madonna was wearing a cape, she'd wear that. She loves pointiness. So to put this cape on, you pop this head off right there. Pop this cape out. As you can see, there is a hole right there for the bottom of the cowl to dig into. So you see the two holes up there as well. That really keeps this cape in line and keeps it on there. There you go. And speaking of the pointiness, he does tell them with this extra pointy helmet, or not helmet, cowl, face, top part. Um, is this a look that I like? Not really. Is it a look that some people like? Probably. So if you like this look, pick this up. If you don't like this look, it's okay. They gave you two additional looks beyond this one. The third look that we have, you're going to pop this head off, pop this cape off. And of course, you can mix and match them like bikinis at Target. So you could do that. It also comes with this capeless towel part here. And you put that simply right there. Put those two pegs in the back. Boom, got it done. And you're like, Sonny, what's that for? Oh, that's for scuba diving Batman. That way, if you want to take him into the swimming pool and you don't want him to die because he can't breathe, he does have great swimming action. And there goes that stupid hand on the stupid peg. All right, so you can make swimming action Batman all you want. 
I'll be honest, I'm not sure if that's what that's for, but it looks like it, so that's what we're going with. All right, so you can't have just the Batman figure without the cape, which is also kind of cool. You're like, but why would I want that? I don't know, maybe the cape gets in his way when he's fighting crime. But Sonny, how's he gonna fight crime with open hands? Oh, that's cool. He got fists. I thought I told y'all, he come with plenty of accessories. He come with that big fist right there. That we can just boom, 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 fist everyone if he needs to. Or you can open hand them. Whatever. Open hand, fist them. Open hand them, fist them. Open hand them, fist them. Either way, it's gonna be very depending on how you want to uh, look at it. It'll vary either way. He also comes with some uh, relaxed hands right there. Um, it could also be him trying to persuade Celine Kyle to join him. Like, come on, Catwoman. Come on, just be good. Take my hand, Catwoman. We can, we can run this town together. And she'll be like, no, I'm bad. By the way, this is his size comparison up to the Rebel Tech Catwoman. All right, so he has that hand. He also has some trigger hands. If you want to give him a little gun, you can. He has those trigger hands right there. Probably for the battering, but you can also put a pistol in there if it gets small enough pistol. In fact, um, the Marvel Legends Black Widow and uh, her sister pistols will probably fit that hand really nicely because they're smaller. And then he has, of course, karate chopping hands because he's Batman after all. And he's a master of karate. I don't know how true that is, but he does have karate chopping hands or high five hands, whichever you want to do. Um, but yeah, he does have that hand. And then the last hand that he has, if I can find what the difference is on them, there we go. Is that it? Yeah. So he has closed fist hands. Right there, closed fist. See the closed? Very closed. Right there, all right. Then he has the closed fist with a slight hole. I think you can see a slight hole there. That is for this rope. His bat rope think you put that in there and it looks like he's gripping on that rope right there so there you go he can go and propel himself all over the place if he wants but this is the batman figure let's pop this other head on it looks cool all right so we're going to do some size comparisons but we're not going to put the cape on because the cape gets in the way and does all that and then you get mad because they take extra time just to pull up the picture Put the figure where it belongs. But obviously we saw him against the Mofex Hush Batman. We saw him against the Rebel Tech Catwoman. Here he is with another one of the Mofex DC figures. Uh, Nightwing here. There we go. As you can see. It's not bend your knees. That's weird. Alright. Never bend your knees when you're taking a picture next to another dude. That is just a man rule for you. I don't care how tall they are. So if you look here, they're about the same height. Batman's a little bit taller than Nightwing. If that matters to you, that little height difference does not to me. And we also have him next to another Moffex figure. We have the X-Force Deadpool right there. Obviously Deadpool is a slightly larger looks like. Let me see from y'all level. Yep, a little bit larger, just barely. But that is him next to the Deadpool. And you're probably like, what does he look like against other Batman figures? Well, I'm not going to put him next to McFarlane figure. McFarlane figures are ridiculously tall. Here he is next to whatever this third-party brand, Mr. Wealth, a.k.a. Bruce Wayne. Here he is next to that figure. You can see about the same height. And here he is next to the Mezco Batman. Also another Batman that I like. I know some of y'all hate him. I like him. But there he is next to 89 Michael Keaton Mezco Batman. You can see about the same height. Mezco Batman, a little bit thicker, a little bit uh, in a chest, a little bit thicky, thicker, chestier. Is chestier a word for a dude? I don't know. Either way, there he is next to that Batman. 
And you're probably like, what about some bad guys, Sonny? Can we see him against some bad guys? Sure, why not? Here's the Felix Heath Ledger Joker that he is next to. As you can see, they do defer in style. This is more movie style. This is more comic book style. So they would look a little bit weird together in a picture if you were to do something like that. But there he is next to that Felix Joker. So overall, I will say I used to like taking my Hush Batman with me in the car. And I'd be, we'd have adventures. I'd be like, oh, Batman, fly. I'd take him out in the middle of the movies and start having fun with him. Take his head and put it back on every time it popped off. I would have fun with him at the Lubies, but that cape was ridiculous. This one, the fact that I don't even have to have a cape on him, I like that option, but it does have a smaller cape. This cape is a little bit stiffer as well, so it makes it a little bit easier to tuck him in my pocket. And, uh, you know, this one will still be the Lubies Batman. This one might be the Cheddar's BJ's Batman right here that I choose to pick. But... I like them. Pick them up if you got, if you can. If you need another Batman, if you need a great Batman with the light blue and gray, this is a great option. Stick around for the pictures at the end. I appreciate y'all for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff like that. I might be famous one day and then you'll be like, hey, look, Sonny commented to me. He replied to my comment when he was not famous. I feel so awesome. So go ahead and comment down there at the bottom. And thanks for watching and y'all have yourselves a great day.